Mom and Daddy, you've been wonderful parents to us during these past 50 years. One of these days, you will both be gone, and we'll have to sort out the inheritance, which we don't expect there will be a whole lot of. However, you have bequeathed many intangible things to us, things that are far more valuable than material, than any material thing you could leave us. One of the greatest of these things is your outstanding example. You've been an example of the kind of love that must exist between a husband and wife in order for a marriage to last. You've been a great example of how to love and take care of your children and grandchildren. You've been an example of how to work your way through the difficulties of life. You've been an example of how to serve God in a crooked and perverse generation. Your life has been like a beautiful day. The sunrise of your life was clouded with the difficulties of the Great Depression and the Second World War. However, when you two married 50 years ago, the sun came up and started shining very brightly. There were a few clouds along the way, but basically the morning of your life has been full of sunshine and happiness and success. The sun crossed the middle of the day hardly without you noticing. There was no lunch break in your life. You were still too busy working at the telephone company and raising the younger kids and bragging about your new grandchildren. However, the old sun has continued to slip down toward the western horizon of your life. The toils of life have taken their toll. You're more tired than you used to be. There are more aches and pains than there were before. The medicine cabinet has now become a much more central part of your life. It's harder to get out of bed in the morning, though it's also difficult to lay there any longer. The sun is still shining brightly in your lives, but it's steadily marching on. You're both still in good health, and we believe you have a lot of good years left. But the sun will eventually set. I have frequently said to my wife and children as we've driven down the road, late in the day, this is the best time of the day. The, day, the day's work is over. Your muscles are a little tired and weary from working hard, but it feels good because you know you've done something productive. Your stomach is full from a good meal. You have little to do but look forward to the rest and relaxation of the evening. It is our prayer that the twilight years of your life will be the best years ever. You have successfully reared your children. You have successfully served your God. You have left this world a better place than when you came to it. You have set a high standard for us, your children and relatives to follow. You have been like a lighthouse on the hillside to show us the way in the dark night of this evil world. You've been a source of strength to encourage us to keep on keeping on. When that sun does set in your life and you are no longer here to help us and encourage us and counsel us, please be assured that we are continuing to live out your lives. We believe about the same things you believe. We love the same things you love. We're committed to the same principles you are committed to. We're serving the same God that you serve. It is our prayer that this day will be a day that you will long remember because of the love and joy that we're all experiencing on this year wedding anniversary. We love you today and forever. Ronnie. Lori, Allison, Ryan, Danny, Mary, Nathaniel, who is in heaven, Carmen, Daniel, Laura, Donna, Ken, Kimberly, Brian, Victoria, Jackie, Dan, Jeffrey, Jessica, Jason, Kenny, Chuck, Kyle, Katie, Randy, Angie, Lindsay, Barry, Tina, Lauren, Ashley.
very much, Dan.